What's up everybody, coming back at you with a training day video. And today we're gonna work on the bench press, but we've got something new. And that is the bench block. Now this is something that you put the barbell through these grooves. I've got it set up back there. You can kind of see it behind me right there. Put the barbell through these grooves and it's gonna decrease the range of motion that you are gonna bring the barbell through while you're performing the bench press. So what you can really do here is overload your bench press. You can go for heavier weights, for similar amount of reps that you would potentially fail at before, but because we've reduced that range of motion, now we might be able to handle that barbell a little bit better. And if you're just handling heavier weights constantly, that's a great way to get your body accustomed to heavier weight and in the end, hopefully PR your bench press. Now they're also useful for sticking points. So if there's a different spot in your bench where you continue to get stuck as you press through that full range of motion, so maybe it's three quarters of the way to the top, maybe it's at 50% or just below like most people, then you can continually practice moving the weight to that dead stop area and pressing through that weak point. This is something that I haven't added to my training just yet, so this is gonna be my first day using them. So I'm super excited to add a new toy to the bench press and hopefully get me towards that 400 pounds. So we're gonna go for heavy doubles today using the bench blocks. Now the one I'm using has four different areas that you can manipulate the height or the range of motion of your bench press. So we've got this thickness right here. All of this is up on the Rogue Fitness website, what the thicknesses are. I don't know them just offhand. Um, we can also rotate it around to a much, much higher thickness. And then again, sideways here on this portion, that's gonna give you this thickness. So I'm gonna go right here, right through the middle. So we're gonna be using this thick, meaty part of the block today in order to guide my bench press. All right, I don't currently have a one rep, two rep, or anything max for a bench block specifically at this height. So I'm really just kind of going off of my one rep max on normal bench, which is 365. I took about 95% of that because that's roughly your two rep max. I'm gonna go for doubles today. And then I took 90% of that two rep max, which is gonna be my opener. It'll be about 311. So we're gonna go 315 to start four two and see what we can get up to today. All right, not bad for the first set. Uh, man, it feels weird trying to control it down to my chest. I'm not used to that block being there. I'm used to obviously the barbell touching my chest. So I don't know like what speed I should be bringing the bar down. So that's kind of a little confusing. And that's the only thing I'm kind of second guessing myself on is the speed that I should bring the bar down to. And if I should just kind of tap and push or give myself just a little bit more of a pause there at the bottom. I kind of like to feel the pause a little bit. So we're gonna keep up with that. But honestly, that's the, kind of the toughest part right now. That felt really good. I think we've got some room to go here. That second rep is feeling better and better. That was 330. I think we're gonna make the jump to 345. Oh, buddy, butt was way off the bench. 
All right, I think I'm capping myself there today. My butt was way off the bench on that second rep. Still trying to figure out the timing a little bit. Um, dropped the bar a little quicker to my chest there. And the first rep went up fast, it felt great. Second rep, I was a little bit off. Tried to save myself by really pushing into the floor hard and throwing my hips towards the sky. So not bad for today, I'm gonna do my last set, drop down by just a little bit, see if we can't finish with a clean set. All right, not gonna lie, those reps feel super awkward. So it is definitely gonna be a little bit of a learning curve for me on using these, getting them to different depths, using them for all the different sticking points and all the different areas, and establishing heavy singles, doubles, triples with all of those different heights. Right now, time for some accessories. That is it for today. If you've got another idea that you wanna see out of me for a workout video, go ahead and put it down below. Now I know that what I eat in a day is one of those videos. I still have not gotten around to that. I will, but if you got any questions, comments about the workout that I just did, go ahead and throw them down below and we'll see you guys next time.